Hi, um, I'm back in my bathroom. I'm sorry, there's a spotlight right above me, so the light is a little bit weird. I did have a look in my bathroom mirror though to have a look at what both sides look like. In this light, this is the Blendiful side and this is the Laura Mercier side. Um, I think we can both agree that the Blendiful side is more blended rather than the Laura Mercier side, especially the blush here went completely crazy. Um, I'd say that the Blendiful is not necessarily um, the same as other sponges, it, not sponges, um, Petter Puffs. However, I have only tried this one, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, it does seem to be different. It does seem to be easier to handle. It is softer and it seems to blend things easier than than the Laura Mercier puff. That is an observation. Um, also, I don't know if anybody's actually done this kind of comparison video. If they have, I haven't seen it. Um, I'm going to keep on looking, and in that case, I will uh, put their names down in the description box. Uh, if you know of, of a video like that, and I haven't credited it, then just please give me a shout out in the comments. Um, but so far I can see this is a win for the Blender 4. I might actually keep on using it, especially for the, um, for the bronzer. I, I really like that. It's much nicer than the, uh, than the way it looks when you've, uh, when you've used the brush. It's, it, this looks much nicer. Um, also it was good for the, um, uh, for the foundation once you decide to, once I decided to stipple it on rather than drag it the way she does in her videos because that really just took everything off. Uh, so that is a warning if you want to do your entire face with a blender full, is to not do that. I probably wouldn't, to be honest, do powder with this either because that's way too much powder for me. Um, but that's it really. Um, and uh, I'll come back and I'll let you know how everything held up in my next video. Bye. Hi, I'm back again uh, for some final thoughts. Uh, I've been using the Blendiful for a few days now. I have to say I really like it for my foundation and for my bronzer, the milk bronzer, which is a cream bronzer. I think it does a really good job of blending nails out. Um, I, I've also been using it, surprisingly enough, for powder on my forehead, like in my T-zone, uh, which gets really oily. I do find it, it holds up better, probably because you put on a lot more powder than I usually do. Um, I don't know, that could be it. Um, do I recommend it? It's it's $18, which is kind of expensive for a powder puff. I mean, not gonna lie, but it does do quite a bit more than a regular powder puff. So I probably, would recommend it if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, as I said, I'm not going to use it for blush ever again. I think we all saw what happened and that was terrible. So um, yeah, I don't recommend it for blush. Maybe for cream blush. I don't know. We we'll, might have to try that out once I get some. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh yeah, the reason this video is in two parts is that YouTube does not let you put up a video which is more than 15 minutes long when you're a tiny, tiny little YouTuber. Um, so I had to put this into two parts and I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I'm going to put out new videos as often as I can. I'm sorry about the state of me today. I literally just home from work decided to do the final thoughts, might as well. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's been a long day. <laughs> so that's what I look like. But as you can see, the, like my forehead is not too bad. It's a little bit shiny short, uh, but it's, it's definitely been worse. I mean, the makeup's held up fairly well. Maybe not so much under my eyes, but that could be because I was very tired this morning. It's a Monday and I had powdered before I put my concealer on because yeah, I was tired. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it for, for now. And I'll be back with some more thoughts. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.